Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna show you how to dominate on Shyvana jungle for beginners. There's two main ways to play her. I'm gonna be showing you how to play her AP Bursty this game. That is why we took Ignite secondary for our summoner spells. If you wanna play her AD Scrappy, then you're gonna generally wanna take Exhaust or Flash instead. It's really nice to have Ignite though when you do wanna play her the AP version. My team had Aatrox and Yasuo. We locked those in pretty early, so that's why I went ahead and got the went for the AP setup. For your runes, you're gonna wanna go for Dark Harvest and all that good stuff. And then you're gonna wanna go Sorcery Secondary Tree with Gathering Storm and Transcendence. It's more important to have your Ravenous Hunter than Relentless Hunter. I would highly recommend that instead. We'll toss our E back, we'll get that. We'll go do our Raptors now. We should be able to finish them off pretty quick. Shivana's clear isn't the best in the world. There's definitely stronger champions for clearing. Whether it's Fiddlesticks, he's really, really easy and pretty fast. And then you have things like Kane, who are insanely easy, very fast, and very healthy. So if you are looking for something that is completely overpowered, just gross meta, Siobhan is not that champion. She is actually not considered to be very meta, but you can still get wins on her. She's still usable. You just need to respect the fact that you're weaker than most champions pre-6. The only time Siobhan is like legitimately good is once she is level 6 and up. Then she can start doing some really cool stuff. All right, we got our E. I'm gonna W into him, auto him down. You want to get in the habit of moving in between autos. It's a really good habit to get into. If you, it'll speed your clear up a little bit on each and every camp. Our clear wasn't completely optimized, so we're actually just gonna go straight for a scuttle here. A full clear Siobhan is about 315. Ba -da -ba -ba. We're gonna smite it. Get it shield off early. We're gonna push it towards mid. We have some mid prior. We don't have bot prior. We're gonna go for Emax first and a W Max. She's pretty low. I don't really know where Scion is. He's probably topside right now. We have nothing to really gank. My bot lane's pushing in a massive wave, as you can see there. I might be able to do something about that. I don't really know where the enemies are. They might have actually backed. That's probably what's going on. I don't really need to recall until 350s to get to my next camp on respawn. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're actually gonna reset here. On your first back, you're usually looking to get a dark sill and a double dagger. We couldn't quite afford double dagger, so we'll just get dark sill dagger. If you can afford it, Sork Shoes, Dark Seal is also a really good first back. Or if you can afford it, getting a full recurve bow is really, really good as well. On Shivana, you don't rush a mythic item. You generally go straight for your uh, Nashers. Nashers is really, really good for her. When you get in fights and scraps, auto attack, Q reset. We're kiting around the little one, around the big one. The little one hasn't really hit us yet. And we're gonna use our E now that they're all stacked up. We didn't want to use it just on that one little one. You do bonus damage to the targets you mark with your E you're generally going to be queuing the ones and your auto attacks prolong your w that's why the speed up's not as good to just use raw around the map it's best to use when you're in combat hitting things because it extends its duration as you can see right there one of the biggest things you're going to be looking for on shivana is hitting level six as soon as possible and soloing dragons so if you see their jungler like on the top side of the map that's when you're gonna swoop in and take a dragon shivana she can take dragons pretty well because of her passive she has bonus damage i think it's like 25 percent yeah she deals 20 percent more damage to dragons it may not seem like a lot but that's quite a bit <laughs> quite a bit she can take them faster than most champions can solo uh these guys are shoved up pretty far swain's about to be here i'll take up the plant the plant comes in at like 525 it's 530 right now yep there it is the enemies are really good they'd go break that most people don't really think about that though we're gonna bonk Ashkin, try to stay on this guy. I don't wanna ignite him too soon because I don't want him to freak out. I'm actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. You probably didn't need to ignite there because Swain was full HP. If Swain was a little bit lower, the ignite would have made more sense. I'm not actually trying to steal those last hits from him. I'm just trying to help him push the wave. If you steal the last hits, your teammates can freak out and AFK. But if you need to shove the wave because you had a successful gank, and your teammate needs to go spend the gold, that's fine. That's what I did there. We should be hitting level six on, we got off our E auto attack Q reset. 
Ooh, they just warded that. That's not good for me. It's a really bad timing for them to ward that. 450 is my smite. Oh, he smited like 50 HP early. Feels bad for Scion. He's dead. We're gonna run away. We don't wanna. Ooh, Yasuo. Yasuo, no, not like this, Yasuo. I'm just gonna bop that plant and run away. I was trying to save the karma. So I was trying to hit the plant for her. So we've got the drag, we have three assists, not bad. Doing pretty well so far. Yeah, but like I said, you should be hitting level six before the eight minute mark on Shivana. Ideally, you hit it as soon as possible, anywhere from the five minute to the seven minute mark. The only way you can hit it before seven minute is if you're taking a lot of minion XP like I did. That's why I hit it before 730, even though I skipped by Gromp on first clear to get Scuttle fast. Uh, ba -da -ba. All right, we'll R this. Ooh. Ooh, I think we got the assist. Cool. That's we got it's another Dark Seal stack. I don't want to necessarily steal these minions from him, but I do want to help him shove the wave. So we're not actively trying to outlast hit him. We're just trying to get the wave pushing. Even if they don't like you doing that, as long as you're not just stealing the last hits, they usually won't AFK on you. Hit her with an E, we'll back off, we W out. Siobhan is really strong in dragon form. You get extra HP, and uh, I think you get some extra stats as well. So obviously your E's way stronger. It's massive in AOE, just way more. I think your passive is doubled when you're in dragon form. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure actually. I'm not 100%, but just know that Siobhan is way better in dragon form. If she could permanently stay in dragon form, she would actually be the best character in the game. It's her weakness, it's her normal form. She's easily one of the worst characters in the game. Nothing that special about her. So we're really close to our R. It goes up to 100 and then you can go dragon form. It slowly ticks up one at a time. And whenever you auto things, whenever you hit things, it goes up much faster. Get a burst of it. So now that we're at 100, we don't really want to back. We want to look for a gank. You see Scion's bot side, so we could invade his jungle or even take Harold. He's baiting us out. We'll arm over the wall. Hit her with the E. That was really good for us. All right. So we have our uh, double smites up. We see Scion's backing. I'm actually gonna invade his jungle. His back just got stopped yet. Yeah, this is free. See how our auto attacks prolong our dragon form right now? It's because it's giving us fury. So we can kind of drag it out a bit more. You see what I did there? We do want to max our W next. Max our Q last. Scion still bot side. You never want to do that as a jungler. If you show up too long on the same side of the map in vision, the enemy jungler can do what I'm doing. He's missing three camps. That's 12 CS. And uh, I could probably get Harold as well. Plus, it's letting me gank Camille without having to worry about where he is. I'll smite it to get off its shield. We have Dragon Form back, and we could gank again. Basically, every single time your Dragon Form's up, it's a, it's a good gank. It is a really good gank. We've already negated the worst part about Shivana, which is her first five levels. We are where she really starts to shine. I do like this champion. I do think she needs a buff. She's still fun to play though. There is one player on NA who I know of who plays her in higher elo, like Masters GM. So you can definitely take her into diamond and up if you're dedicated. Very cool champ. Don't know if this is warded. I don't have a uh, sweeper. Oh, I guess it's not warded. I'm gonna ignite her, auto attack QE. Generally in the gank, you see I have my E's on a seven second cooldown even when it's max, it's pretty long. So I could only use my E once there anyway. So I R'd in to close distance, had W on, auto attack Q reset, then E, since I can't E more than once anyway, so we might as well get off our auto damage because our E obviously outranges our auto attacks. So that's your combo guys, I just broke it down for you. 
in a perfect world, you'll get off an auto attack Q reset with your W on, and then you're gonna bop him with an E. Now, if your teammate's about to die and the enemies are low, then sure, hit him with the E first since it's a big burst. Otherwise, it's gonna be an R, W, auto attack Q reset into E. If the enemies don't invade your jungle, it's ex exponentially good for you. Cause look at our Fury, we're at 40. It's taken up a little bit and each auto attack gives us extra. Look at that, we're already at nearly, uh, yeah, we're at like 100. That's huge. That is huge. I'll take it. I'm gonna W, R, M, blue smite. Missed my E, that was tragic. He's really slippery. I'm gonna hit him with an E here. They're running away, they know. They know like my range on my E, I guess, because they're playing really safe. I hit him with it though. I got Dark Harvest stack off of him. That's pretty good. I'll eat the dragon, I'll attack Q. So your dragon form a bit longer. Your Q, it, I guess your Q isn't that much better when you're in dragon form. It just has more AOE. That's the only difference. But your E is a lot stronger, way more damage. Uh, we'll go take Scion's red. I'll go lay my Herald too before the 14 minute mark. I want to get, you want to get the turret down to two plates before you lay it though. Because Herald only scrapes two plates. Mm, that sucks. Scion's dead, his red buffs up. I don't know why Yasuo randomly roamed there. <laughs> he should have just stayed and got plates. Oh well. Yeah, I'm going to drop it. It's down to two. Or Gucci. W over here, auto attack, line him up, hit him with an E. Scion should be going to his red buff, and I have an item advantage on him. Just juke that out. I'm going to R into him. Oh, poor guy. I'm going to speed up. Bada boom, bada boom. Oh, she's still going for this, huh? I'm going to hit that plant, get fueled up. Uh, I assume his wolves are up. I'll pop an E over there. Big damage. Yeah, they're up. Your W on dragon form, it's just increased size. Your Q, it's just more AoE. Your E is really the only thing that gets more damage. And then the R itself does damage whenever you fly through the air. You saw me kill Scion with that. They really need to give her more. Try and feed it. So yeah, we've defeated two dragons, so we're getting total bonus armor mag resist. 15, wouldn't that be 20 though? Question mark. Five armor and five magic resist. She gains five armor and five magic resist increased by additional five. Oh, that's lame. She should get 10 bonus for each. Oh well. I can't move, dude. I couldn't not move. I was getting hard CC chain. Set grabbed us, then knocked, he knocked us up, grabbed us, Sion knocked us up, and then knocked us up again. We were CC'd for nearly four seconds. Smirk Treads wouldn't have helped us either since they were displacements. Smirk Treads only helps you against like stun snares. Silences, taunts, charms, that type of stuff. Against suppressions and displacements, Tenacity doesn't actually help you. Unlucky. For your boots on AP Shivana, you're normally looking for Sorks or Lucidities. Against their team, they got a lot of squishies. I'm gonna go for these. And I'm also gonna go for Night Harvester. Night Harvester is really freaking good. Honor. If we had 10 Dark Seal stacks, we could go for a Mesh as well, but we don't we use W out of base for the speed up. Yeah, they really need to buff her passive. I thought it was five armor and magic resist bonus for each dragon killed, but it's only five per each additional dragon, which is kind of garbage. It's better than nothing. It just seems kind of low since it's a situational passive. At least she gets that extra damage against dragons, I guess. <laughs> Imagine if she had 20% bonus damage against Aurelian Soul. Oh, Ashcan just used his whip move. He's dead. Yeah, you're dead. 
buddy. Sorry about this. I'm gonna bop those minions. Get another point in our W. Per point, it gets more damage and more movement speed. Your E per point gets more damage and cooldown. Your Q per point gets more bonus damage and cooldown. Not every spell gets lower cooldown like your W doesn't. Ooh, I think the enemies are uh, demoralized. <clears throat> I think they're getting sad. Getting a little bit sad. I need to hit stuff. Bah. Get my ultimate back. Oh, got the Dark Harvest stack. That's sick. Took two turret shots, though. That's not fun. Let me bop some minions. We're at 81, nearly back at our R. Mm, let's check in to see what their full items look like. Alright, got our R. Cool. We're not gonna go match uh, the Camille. She actually scares me. Oh, I mean, I'm a level up on her and more items. Let, let's go see if we can do it. Camille's a really strong champ. Even if she's behind, it can be hard to tell. She does so much damage. She has 100 less HP than us, so maybe this will work. Yeah, okay, she's dead. I underestimated my powers. <laughs> she absolutely evaporated. Uh, not only do I have more items, I was a level up on her at the time. Now I'm two levels up. And she has zero magic resist and zero HP in her items, so all my bursts just eliminated her. My Sork Shoes, 18 Magic Pen, just absolutely wrecked her. We have 160 CS, 18 minutes in, not bad. Shivana, after her first clear, she does start to farm faster than something like an Evelyn would. She never really farms faster than a Kane, though. Her clear, it's funny, her clear actually gets a lot better per level. Her first clear, it's not the best. Ooh, Ash can't see. I don't have my R, so this is actually kind of hard to fight. Aatrox is probably pretty mad that in his mind he probably thinks I let him die there. Oh, he died just from my thing. Oof. My R alone killed the sets. Awesome. I'm gonna blue smite him, bop him with the E. Oh, that's lame. Ooh, got him with another E. I want to reset the golem. That way I can hit it more to get my <laughs> more fury stacks. I'm not actually interested in really killing it. I just want to auto for my stacks. Could have reset it again if I really wanted to. Just get this rip off. We could definitely get a Majaya's this game. Majaya's Rabadon Death Cap. Cosmic Drive, really good items on. Shivana. Drop that E. Oh, I watched, I want to snipe him. Oh, come on, Yasuo. I wanted to walk with Set and then just woo, drop a big old fireball on him. Good game, well played. If you guys need to look at the runes, items, level order, just go back to the start of the video. I'll have it all there in a screenshot for you so you can just copy it. If you're looking to play a more meta AP jungler, if you feel like Shivana is just a little too difficult because she's kind of weak early, definitely recommend Diana. Diana is one of the most meta kind of AP AOE clear junglers. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this Shivana jungle beginner's guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.